How's it going everyone and welcome back to another TCG opening. Today we are doing the Yu-Gi-Oh! Rarity Collections. I've got uh, two of the Rarity new set and the Rarity Collection 2, as well as two Rarity Collection 1 booster packs. We're going to open these up on camera as usual. We're going to flip that camera around. If you're new here, hit that like, subscribe and bell notification icon if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! or in fact Pokemon because we do both here on the channel. So we're well on the way to 100 subscribers. Thank you guys for everyone that has uh, followed and subscribed so far do greatly appreciate you all my social links will be found in the description down below let's get into it here are the packs ancient there's only five cards in the rarity one collection so we're going to leave those till last we're going to start with a new set now um i have seen the prices for the first rarity collection the this pack here like right, this set here is um slowly being added to collector so the prices may or may not be on the screen. It all depends on if they've been added to Collector or not. So starting off with an Exosister Pax. Uh, that's a that's a hollow, apparently. Uh, we then have Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. We have Chaos Hunter. We have an IP Masquerina. I don't know if that is the alt art. I know that there is a alt art uh, currently in circulation i'm gonna have to have a look um is that a prismatic rare i can't tell with these rarities i think that might be a prism no i'm not too sure but the, the uh the rarity like the hollow on here is really really weird so I, i'm not too sure but i think i might have just pulled one of the uh, most expensive cards out of the set i'm gonna pop it here and it will be on the screen if i have pulled it so Carrying on, we've got a Skull Meister. That is also a hollow. Uh, we have a Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. That's the 20th century rare, right? I'm so... I, I suck at these rarities because I'm not a massive, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! collector. I'm only just starting out. Uh, but obviously, the price of these cards, guys, will be on the screen. We have the Phantom Knights of Breaksword. That looks hella sick. I'm loving that. We have a fusion deployment. I think these are all hollow, to be fair. Fusion deployment and the gold sarcophagus as well. So, yeah, all of these cards are hollow. I think that IP Masquerade might be a alternate art because I was looking at the card listing and it was on Collector. I'm not 100%. If it isn't, I apologize and I'm just waffling on for absolutely no reason. Um, but I love the fact I got the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. It looks hella, hella sick. I'm well happy with that. Okay, so, starting off pack number two, we have Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. We have another Skull Meister. We have a Riku, Light Sworn Hunter. We have a Fusion, a Fusion Deployment. We have the Ultimate Slayer. I think that might be the Prismatic Rare of the set. We've got the Abyss Dweller. We have the Enemy Controller. Nice. I remember this card. This was hella sick. We have another S of Six Packs and a Forbidden Lance to finish that pack off as well. I do love me some enemy controller. Okay. Now, to these packs, they have Ash Blossom in. They have the Prismatic. They have the 21st, uh, 20th Century Rare. Or the 21st. Oh, I can't remember. The 25th Anniversary Rare, whatever it's called. Uh, as well as the regular Hollow Rare as well. All cards of which are quite expensive. Um, this set in itself, actually, all the cards from this set are reasonably well priced, which... I can see, but obviously because there's only five cards per pack as well, I can kind of see why. Because the rarity does obviously go down. Okay. So we have, from the first pack, we have Alpha, the Master of Beasts. We have a Lava Golem. Very, very nice. I will take the Lava. I do love Lava Golem. We have Sher Sherubini, Ebon, uh, Ebon, Angel of the Burning Abyss, Yu-Gi-Oh! Um things are honestly just a joke trying to pronounce we have junk speeder and we have dogmatica Escalia, the virtuous i don't know if i pronounce that i probably just butchered that 100 percent all the way uh, obviously all of these prices for these cards guys as well will be on the screen i will go through them as well uh, so you can get like a proper look at the prices because at the minute i'm just going through them okay so for the last pack of this Yu-Gi-Oh video we have artemis the Majesticus Mood Moon Maiden. We have tall guys from the underworld. Hey, that's an old school card like me. We have a magic magicalized fusion. Oh. 
Uh, we have a Baroon de, de Fleur. Baron de Fleur. I'll take that. And Mech Knight Crusadia Av Avaramaxed, whatever the hell that's called. So, I'm going to do another quick like go through so you guys can obviously see the prices. Um, obviously, some of these are going to change. So, we have the Lava Golem. This is a regular, I don't know, I assume it's just a regular hollow. We then have the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. We have the IP Mascarena, which I think is the alternate art. We have the Phantom Knights of Breaksword. We have Fusion, Fusion Deployment. I keep messing that up. We then have the Gold Sarcophagus. We have a Skullmeister. We have a Chaos Hunter. We have an Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. An Exosister Pax. Forbidden Lance. Exosister Pax again. Enemy Controller. We have the Abyss Dweller. Ultimate Slayer. Fusion Deployment. Uh, Riku Lightsworn Hunter. Another Skullmeister. Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. We have Barons of Fleur. Mech Knight Crusader. Magicalized Fusion. Tour Guide from the Underworld. From the Artemis, the Moon Maiden. We have Dogmatica, Eskelia. Uh, Junk Speeder. And Shurubini, Ebon Angel of the Burning Abyss. And Alpha, the Master of Beasts. So obviously guys, do let me know if you want some more Yu-Gi-Oh content on the channel. Um, because, you know, I do thoroughly enjoy unboxing these, as I do with uh, Pokemon cards. So we've got another, um, oh god, there goes my Vegeta. We've got Twilight Masquerade coming soon. I've got the Booster Bundle, as well as the Triple Blisters to do as well. And obviously, if you like this content, guys, hit that like and subscribe buttons. Hit that bell notification icon to let you know when I next go uh, and upload a video. I've got more Pokemon content coming soon. I've got like a, an entire like cataloging uh, series that I'm going to start doing very, very soon on this channel as well. Because there's a lot of cards and honestly, I need to start cataloging it all so I can then see the rise and fall of all my cards. And so guys, do follow Jade in the description down below. She's doing TCG unboxing like me as well. We're starting the, um, the master set for Twilight Masquerade. And uh, I will see you guys all very, very soon. And see you next time. Peace.